a recent move to Keene, New Hampshire. My name's Allie Havens. Oh, cool. And so people would meet you if they moved to Keene. Yep. And you're a person who heard about the Free State Project and decided that sounds like it's something for you. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'd been looking for a place to move for a couple of years now since I graduated high school. And um, as soon as I found out about the Free State Project, I was pretty much on board. So I just made little steps on the way there and, you know, worked really hard so that I would have the resources available to make the move, and I did it. Yeah, I found a job uh, two weeks after moving. It just took being diligent and checking back and um, um, sort of being being honest about why I was moving. I think that helped a lot, telling, telling uh, my current boss that I was here for the Free State Project was actually a really positive thing, and I think that that's probably why I got the job. Um, one thing that surprised me was moving to Keene. I'd always heard that the cops here were really good, and a lot of them are better than the cops that I'm used to dealing with, but um, the activism really brings out the, their personality and like the way they handle situations, and they do tend to side with their masters, and so um, it brings about some barbaric behavior. Um, Recently, uh, earlier today actually, um, I was going to work, and because it was rainy, I drove to work, and usually I walk, so um, I drove today and parked um, just like one of the closer spaces to where I work at uh, Corner News, and um, I realized I was going to have to pay the meter, so I go and like dig out my quarters. I knew I was going to, since it was two hour parking, going to have to come back and pay it later, even though I was working for five hours, so I had them ready and everything, so I put in two hours worth, and then um, I got there at 12, and then at 2, I realized I had to go back and pay the meter, so um, I go back outside uh, at 2, and I don't see any meter maids around, so I'm like, I guess I'm safe. I go up there, and I already have a ticket. Um, I checked the timestamp, and it was 40. 45 or 46 seconds after two, so they really got me. Um, I think a lot of people who know what it is are just sort of um, mostly supportive. Some, they're a little bit confused about what the goals are sometimes, um, just because you know they don't spend all their time like researching everyone's um, every all the all the activism. Um, I think if they did, then they'd be more supportive, but we need more um, outlet to the community, I think, because I, from what I hear people say, they have a lot of the same concerns as the free keeners. Um, there are a couple people who don't like free keen, but uh, it, I think it comes from like a place of hostility. A lot of them are victims of the state themselves, so they're sort of uh, putting that on free keen and blaming the free keeners for the aggression by the state, which is, you know, obviously uh, it's not logical. Um, but most people will give them credit for different activism, you know. People have different things that they like, and some people have a problem with activism, some people think that's like the best, and that something else is a problem, and, you know, but overall, most people are supportive. Um, some people just don't know about it even, so it's a mix. Are the conversations that you have with people here different from the conversations you had with people at home? Definitely. Um, at home, I was uh, I was more worried about like of, of offending people or not wanting to. You know, if I'm I meet more people at work than I do just like you know after work, just because I usually do like service oriented jobs. So I meet a lot of people when I'm working and just professionally. Where I'm from, Alabama, I have to sort of put aside my opinions a lot, but I feel like in New Hampshire, it's more open. Like, people seem to be, you know, um, a little bit more, I would say, liberal-minded, um, and, you know, they don't like being aggressed upon, and, um, I don't know, I think, I think it's a lot easier to be yourself here, you know, if you agree with liberty. I would like to, um... 
use people as sort of resources to um, gain more support. I think that's important to, to reach out to other groups because, you know, there are a few groups here that it's kind of hard to relate to firsthand, but that's the same thing with the free keeners. A lot of people don't immediately relate, and if you're standing for principles, sometimes you have to reach out just because not everyone's going to agree with you right right off the bat, you know? So sometimes it just takes being friendly and offering something to them, you know? Some some value to them. You if you bring value to their life, then they to, to their lives and they can reciprocate with understanding and love. So, I think I think people are like most precious resources as activists. Uh, I didn't actually visit Keene before I came here, but I had a general idea of what I thought I was going to be and I was actually pleasantly surprised. It was, it's actually been better than I even expected. Um, just as far, I'm from a college town, so I like that. Um, I would say do your uh, research, um, talk to people from different places and, and try to make a judgment about if it's some place that you're going to be comfortable with. And then just make a decision and go ahead and start you know, talking about it with people around you and making plans and saving money and you know, it's okay to jump into things, especially if you're young, because if you have family back home, then, you know, they'll be supportive. One of the things that made me feel good about moving was that I knew if I didn't like it, I could always go back. So, you know, if that's a possibility for you, then there's nothing wrong with jumping in there and, like, trying it out, you know? Sometimes just, like, a week-long visit isn't enough to see, like, how worth the place is to be, you know, and to stay long-term. So sometimes it's okay just to, you know jump in there and you might really like it and be glad you did it and if you put it off for too long you know sometimes it might it might never happen so I say go ahead and go ahead and do it <laughs> the best thing to do was just to look up Allie Havens on Facebook and I usually accept friend requests if it's you know I usually I'll check you out but you know if you if you seem like a liberty person and um, then I usually just add those people or just send me a message or something and I'm willing to, like, answer questions about jobs or, you know, what I think it's like. I try to give unbiased opinions. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your time, Allie. No problem.